Welcome to module 5 of the software engineering course and this module is all about the topic called software architecture. So as in the origin where this comes from, building structures, uh, software architecture is all about how do we organize uh, our software system, how do we plan it, uh, how do we outline it on a large high level. Um, so questions we ask ourselves is how do we organize the system, how is the organization, what are uh, the overall parts, what is the overall structure, and what are the main components, what are the main parts we are having and how do they relate to each other, what are the interfaces between them. So these are typical things we ask ourselves um, and it's basically uh, to divide work, to organize work later on but also to plan certain properties that we need for our system. So it's really a number of concerns that we uh, look like, uh, look at. And the reason to have an architecture is that you can use it for communication. So you can uh, use it to, to describe to people what are you doing, how are you structuring the system. Uh, you can use it to analyze, uh, to analyze certain properties. Is, are we going to have a good performance or are we going to focus on security instead, for example. Um, you can reuse, so once you have an architectural description, you might be reusing that in future products or in, uh, uh, in parts of other systems that you're doing. And uh, you can also use it to evolve your system. Since nowadays uh, we rarely build a system and it's done, but we want to evolve it over time, you can plan for this by having an overall architecture. Now there are typical ways to represent the architecture and uh, common are for example these box and line diagrams. So diagrams that basically show we have a number of components uh, in our system. What are these components? And more importantly as well, how do they interact? What are the interfaces between them? So those are very easy. Then you can go in, into more detail and for that uh, the unified modeling language uh, UML has a diagram called the component diagram. Now in the remainder of this module I will start by first introducing this component diagram to, to give you a reference of how this can look like and then we go into depth here asking ourselves well for example what kind of analysis can we do, what kind of trade-offs do we need to look at, uh, how do we represent typical architectures so there are common ways of doing this and several aspects in this direction. 